Can you wink? Can you? Yes. Today I'm going to be talking to Katie Jane Hughes, but before we dive in, make sure you subscribe. Today I'm talking to Katie Jane Hughes, who is the queen of eye makeup, period. I wanted Katie to come by and share her tips and tricks because I feel like eyeliner is one of those skills that's a little bit trickier to master. Case in point, my coworkers came by and showed me how they did their eyeliner. Hey guys, I'm Chelsea. Hi, I'm Allie. Hi, I'm Lindsay. Everyone's technique was ever so slightly different, which makes me wonder, are we all doing our eyeliner wrong? Okay, so Katie, I wanted to have you in today because I feel like I am in a major rut with my eye makeup. Okay. I like learned how to do my eye makeup in one particular way when I was like 14. Right. And I haven't really deviated from right. that. If you do whatever look it is that you're doing, whether it's eyeliner or shadow, if you always maintain what I'm about to tell you, you really shouldn't go far wrong. I start pulling my eye taut and then like taking the tip at the corner of my eye and kind of sketching a light line around my eye. I tend to close the one eye that I'm drawing on. I don't do any of this pulling of the eye to stretch my lid for when I'm doing eyeliner. I don't close, I don't do anything of this. I always look straight into a mirror with my eyes completely soft and relaxed. The and camera so, is the mirror. How are you looking at that? I'm just looking like this, as opposed to like this. <laughs> I'm trying to find the place in which the makeup is gonna look the most visible when they're at their most relaxed. I'm never gonna do this, because what this is doing is it's opening up all that space for me, look, and it's showing yeah. everything that I have. However, when I let go, some of it will hide. They're like it's, it's going back in on itself, right? So basically it should go in line with the nose, in line with the corner of the eye, to the tail of the brow, and my eyeliner base should go in that direction. I love to use a liquid liner when I'm doing a cat eye because I just feel like it tends to go on smoother. I always prefer a pencil. The smudgier and chubbier, the better in my opinion, because it just is more forgiving. You know, if you get a little wobbly, no one can tell. I personally think that the best way of for longevity is to do pencil first and then put liquid over the top. This is the Colistay Microliner from Revlon. I'm gonna use this because it's really, really small and really precise. <laughs> <laughs> So I start in the middle. Um, don't really remember why I start in the middle. Taking the tip at the corner of my eye and kind of sketching a light line around my eye. And then I like to go in with like little sketching motions. And then before it sets, I smudge it out. I work my way as far out as I want to go. So there with this pencil. And I work backwards. See the way I'm kind of working up and down? It's helping me create more of a soft look. In order to kind of fix that little spot I have there, I just try to make it a little thicker. But what I also love to do is take like eyeliner brushes or eyeshadow brushes that have like a flat top to them. Mm -hmm. And I love dipping them either in some face cream or some makeup remover and like using them as my erasers um, for bits of detail that I don't like um, or want. So like I can sharpen up this part of my wing, for example, with a brush. And also notice my pinky is always resting on my yeah. cheek. Like that's important either to anchor your elbow to a table or to pinky Stabilize. pinky rest. Yes. And also like break it down into little bits. Like don't try and commit from here to here and here. It's not easy. The trick of eyeliner is the longer the placement of the eyeliner here, the more sort of stretched and feline the eye is gonna go. The higher the eyeliner in this area, the more open and big and doe-eyed you're gonna get. I feel like people worry so much of them being even, but I feel like no one's ever really looking at you that close, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> people often say, oh, but my eyes aren't even. How do I make them even? Um, if I try and make my eyeliner match, then my eyes don't match because my eyes are uneven. So I say, don't try and make your eyeliner match. Do what each eye needs. Mm. Also the placement of the wing. Generally, the trick is, is to always try and angle it up to the tail of the brow. Uh -huh. And if your brows are even, then great. If your brows are uneven, then you're at a loss already. <laughs> when dealing with monolids, I think it's a case of continuously readjusting your head position. If you've got any lid space hiding other lid space, generally doing this throughout the motions and throughout the, the process is yeah. helpful. Yeah. 
But then look, put your chin up and look at this lid. Oh. So like that's, well, that's your interesting. lid space. Like that on me would be super thick and visible, but yeah. on you it's not. But that's cool. That's like fine. I mean, typically I take a chubby eyeshadow stick, I go wonk, and then I smudge it with my finger. She goes wonk. Wonk, and then I'm done. Wow, I'm gonna yeah. trademark that word. A wonk? <laughs> you heard it here first. So are we doing our eyeliner wrong? Yes. As we've seen from Katie, there are definitely things that we can do differently to make the process easier, enjoyable even. So I think the key things that I learned from Katie were one, to look straight ahead, relaxed face, relaxed eyes. Once you get that initial shape down, you know, with the relaxed eyes, you can kind of fine tune it by adjusting your angles of your face. If you make a mistake, just clean it up. And the best way to do that is to use a little bit of face cream or eye cream, something that's very emollient and that's gonna help take off that makeup without disrupting it. Next time you go to do your eyeliner, think, what would KJH do?